Charlene back here again with updates for you from this first quarter of 2022. Let's see what we have here today. So uh, most of you have suspected private home prices have continued to rise, although at a slow pace in this quarter due to the introductions of the cooling measures in December that were aimed uh, to stabilize the market, reining in buying demand from foreigners and also owners who have owned multiple properties. The muted price growth during the quarter came amid a pullback in sales and volumes as uncertainties loom. So in the first quarter, developers sold fewer than 2,000 homes, while the private resale market transacted about 3,100 homes. So now let's look, let us look at prices. Private home prices inched up this quarter by about just only 0.4%. Um, it was led by the landed private home segment, which grew by 4%. Quarter on quarter. This was largely driven by the new launch Belgravia Ace, which sold 74 units at the average transacted price of 4.4 million, boosting landed home values. So that is Strata Housing, by the way. Um, those of you who bought, congratulations. So meanwhile, in the non-landed home segment, it contracted by 0.6%, with prices of central homes region slipping due to softer investor and, and foreign demand. Um, also, because of the lack of viewing activity due to COVID. Local demand, however, remained healthy, but the tighter unsold inventory and limited launches might have crimped the sales and the growth in the OCR. But look out for the new launches in quarter two. They are very exciting, like Live at MB, Piccadilly Grand, Do Give Me a Buzz, if you are interested in any of these projects. So let's look at transactions. Based on Realist, developers sold about 1,008 new homes. Um, that is about a 38% drop from last quarter. Meanwhile, 3,000 private homes were sold this quarter, which is a drop from last um, quarter, basically due to the spike in Omicron community cases, which really affected the viewings. So let's look at the mix between Singaporeans and foreigners. Foreigners increased in percentage last quarter but dropped this quarter to 4.7%. Now, this is an interesting topic I want to talk about, leasing. For those of you looking for rentals, you might have found that it was it's really difficult, rental market's really tight, the landlords have continued to hold a stronger bargaining power. So there is a huge demand, a very strong demand, mainly from foreigners and leasing activities this quarter closed at 14,000 rental contracts amounting to $61.5 million within the first two months of 2022. So the market is poised to grow in the coming months, supported by foreigners coming into Singapore to take on jobs in growing sectors. In addition, foreign MSCs and expatriates might also find Singapore increasingly attractive with its transition to endemic COVID-19 stage as well as the stable political environment. So that's all from me today. We'll talk more next quarter and we'll see how Singapore has done this quarter. So take care, be safe. Cases seem to be up again. So see you soon. Bye.